Romney Primary School's motto is learning together, growing together. We are continually striving to develop the best possible learning experiences for the children in our care. Our vision statement talks about developing children's values, skills and knowledge to prepare them for the rest of their learning journey. We know that in the third millennium this means incorporating technology into high quality learning experiences. By involving parents in workshops, talks and regular drop-in sessions with a range of foci, we ensure that they have the opportunity to understand how children are taught to develop their skills across the school. Our physical environment has been remodelled to include a range of shared innovative spaces known as learning pods. Different age groups work alongside each other on independent and interdependent learning activities, sharing and learning from each other. Alongside traditional resources, each learning pod is equipped with a wide range of technology. Children are empowered to choose the facilities that help them best to achieve their learning goals. All classrooms have an interactive whiteboard, HDMI projector and Apple TV. Apple TV is used to promote AFL and peer assessment. Children are able to share work with peers in the class and across the school in order to improve outcomes. Apps such as Puppet Pals bring writing activities to life. Using Beebot develops children's control and programming skills. The Many Art apps gives children an exciting new art medium to work with. We take iPads on school trips to record activities so children can reflect on their experiences back at school. To give learners a real sense of audience, older children design and make books to read with younger children. They also enjoy making their own iBooks that appear on the shelves alongside published books. Older children coach and develop the skills of younger pupils in a wide range of curriculum areas. This helps reinforce understanding of both mentor and mentee, ensuring that we have good outcomes and children do well. Children have made tutorials using the Show Me app. These Show Me's are then used as a teaching and learning tool. Some Show Me's are published on our school website for children and parents to access. The children are developing their skills at multi apping They have used Icon Animate to make stop start animations. They then used GarageBand to put together a backing track which was added to the video in iMovie. Our music teachers used the iPads for the children to film their own silent movies. They then used GarageBand to compose their own silent movie soundtracks. QR codes are used on displays around the school. The children can scan the QR codes to find out more information. QR codes take the children to other websites, Word documents, PowerPoints or to podcasts made by the children themselves. The iPads are used in PE for children to film gymnastics and dance performances. The children are given time during the lesson to watch the performance in order to review how they have performed and look for ways to improve their work. Pupils of all ages use FaceTime to share their learning across the school. They communicate with each other in order to work collaboratively on projects. Children also share their work with their teachers and each other via email in order to get constructive feedback and improve the end product. All year groups use Twitter as a further means of communication. Staff and pupils tweet about the learning experience throughout the day. Children publish podcasts on Twitter giving them a global audience. Using these tools means that parents can engage in meaningful conversations about their children's learning. Our school website is used by all stakeholders to communicate information. We have a tax parent system for communication which is very popular with parents and staff alike. The school also has a dedicated ICT suite which is used to teach whole class ICT lessons in order to familiarise children with the more traditional aspects of ICT. In order to enhance learning at home and in school, children have access to ThinkQuest and Purple Mash. The children and staff use ThinkQuest as a VLE. Teachers set up homework pages and projects linked to the class topics. Children are able to save their homework to the homework pages and they are able to work collaboratively on the projects. Children are able to log on to Purple Mash at home and in school to complete tasks set by their teachers. We use a range of programmes and online resources to develop children's basic skills in literacy and maths. The school has gained Model School status for Read Write Inc, which is a phonics programme for foundation phase children. Children also develop their literacy skills by completing activities using a programme called Nessie. Children are enthusiastic to use an online maths game called Sundog. They log in at home or in school to challenge their peers at maths contests and improve their numeracy skills. Extracurricular clubs make use of the available technology. For example, iPads are used during film club and dads, lads and daughters have spent time using the technology available in the Lego lounge. Throughout foundation phase, a range of ICT is in daily use. Home corners are set up with a wide range of ICT equipment for children to use. We have a Lego Innovation Studio which provides stimulating and challenging learning experiences. Children build different creations which they can program and control using motors and laptops. 
We have a Lego blog so children can showcase what they have achieved in their lessons.